Are you still swiping these apps closed every day endlessly until there's nothing left? Let me tell you a little secret. Stop it. Stop it! I still see so many people still quitting every app and they think it's helping their iPhone and keeping everything tidy. Maybe it's because you don't want apps doing things in the background when you're not looking. But the fact is, your iPhone would be better off if you don't swipe all those apps away. You don't have to believe me on this one. Apple's own support article on closing apps on your iPhone says you only need to close an app if it's unresponsive. Or you can even refer to this email from Apple's own Senior Vice President of Software Engineering, Craig Federighi. When asked, do you quit your iOS apps and is this necessary for battery life in an email, Craig Federighi said, no and no. Stick with that. You can also refer to Apple pundit John Gruber, The New York Times, and others that all say the same thing. Don't quit your iPhone apps all the time. I know it's a tough habit to break and sometimes you just want a clean app switcher, but the bottom line is your iPhone and iPad are really smart about handling applications in the background. When you open an app, your iPhone places that app in active mode. As long as the app is on screen, it remains active, and it can do whatever it needs to function. Your iPhone also writes that app and its data to RAM. That's the old school term for random access memories. Your devices only have a limited amount of RAM, just like computers. iPhone 14 has six gigabytes of RAM, but when it comes to iPhone and iPad apps, that's typically more than enough for lots of apps to be in RAM at any given time. When you swipe up to go home, the previously active app goes into background mode. Here the app is allowed to finish whatever tasks the user started. Maybe that's posting an image to social media or uploading a file to a cloud service. There are also special cases when an app can remain in the background to continue an activity when not on screen. Think music apps and podcasts. They need to continue playing background audio even when you go home and lock your screen, so there are special use cases for that. Once an app finishes its tasks, and if it's not doing anything like background audio, your iPhone will force it into suspended mode. Here the app is frozen and is not putting any strain on your battery or iPhone processor. But here's the key part, it's still written in RAM, the random access memory. That means when you go to reopen that app, as long as you don't swipe up to quit it, your iPhone can reanimate from RAM very quickly, faster than if it was restarting that app from scratch. This is opposed to the other scenario, like when you swipe up and quit every single app, your iPhone has to reopen it from scratch again. So that means it is more efficient, both in processor power and battery life, to leave your apps open and let your iPhone suspend them as needed. Your iPhone is smart enough and has the ability to force apps into that suspended mode to make sure that you get the fastest experience when reopening that app later. Now, all that being said, sometimes there are applications that try to cheat the system. I remember at one time, a social media app that will remain nameless would play continuous silent audio when you open the app so it could remain active in the background. Super dirty trick. You also may find some of those free games you download to try those underhanded strategies, but you can do some minor sleuthing to find out which apps are being nefarious without quitting all those apps all the time. Just go to the settings app on your iPhone and then go to battery. When you scroll down, you'll see the percentage of battery each app has taken that day. If you tap on one of those apps, you'll see the time spent on screen and the time that app has been active in the background. Some apps will have expected background activity, like a podcast player app, but others may spend hours doing stuff in the background, and those are the culprits of battery life drain. You have a couple options here. If you want to swipe up only those apps that are doing a lot of things in the background, you can do that. Keep apps like Facebook or TikTok in check by force quitting them. But you can also go to the settings app, tap general, and then go to background app refresh and disable the toggle for that apps that do a little too much in the background. But don't turn off background app refresh for all your apps. Remember, your iPhone is pretty smart. It'll handle managing your apps and RAM. Secondly, some apps may be accessing your location too often and hurting your battery life. These could be weather apps, ride sharing services, or other just random apps that want your location data for ads. Ew. To manage that, go to the settings app on your iPhone, tap privacy, and then location services. You can see all the apps that have pinged your location in the last 24 hours. That's what that little arrow is for. Then you can disable location data for that app, choose to allow location only when the app is active on screen, or you can also choose just to allow approximate location rather than give an app pinpoint location accuracy. So that's why you shouldn't swipe all those apps away every time you close your iPhone. Just stop it. Stop it! For more iPhone tips, subscribe to the Bearded Teacher channel, hit that like button, and let me know in the comments. Do you still swipe up all your apps? Hopefully not after this video.